Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. In this video, we will discuss the runtime constant pool. I forgot to mention it in the previous lecture regarding the relationship between the constant pool and the bytecode. So this video will focus solely on the runtime constant pool. But before we begin, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وارض اللهم عنا معهم أجمعين اللهم آمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد <coughs> We begin in the name of Allah the most merciful in this life and in the hereafter We thank him for all of his blessings that he has bestowed upon us for they are innumerable and we pray that we follow in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his fellow companions. Amen. We also ask for prayers and blessings to be bestowed upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his family, as they were, as they were bestowed upon Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, and his family. Let us discuss the runtime constant pool but i feel we should start with an example before we start defining the runtime constant pool so i i have notepad ready this time so i will create a basic program it will be the same as the one i created in the previous lecture just one line of uh, one, uh, one simple instruction which is to print a string uh, void main simply to show you the difference between uh, the constant pool and the runtime constant pool. And here, runtime constant pool. Okay, so I will save this class main and away with you I will come back to you and I need to compile it and let me close this because I do not need it it is just the, the Zahi way to uh, change directories <laughs> Java C main and dot Java so now we should have the dot class file or the bytecode and indeed we do. Now Java P V main dot class and we have the constant pool. Uh, or actually I may not need a picture for it, so I will close the sniping tool. I know it is snipping tool, but I am accustomed to calling it sni sniping, so... <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to, to show this to you as well. Here you see super class number two, which is what object? The object class is the super class for all classes you create. And this class, number 21, is main. And if we go to 21, it tells you go to 22. But again, you see the symbolic reference here. When you go to 22, it says main and so on and so forth. Okay. <coughs> now, the... Uh, I lost my train of thought, sorry. Ah, the runtime constant pool. This was created from the source code that contains the main method. So this is one dot class file. But let us move here and I will write this again so you can see what I did. Let us jump to the system class. Now the question here is, will this class also be compiled to form its own dot 
class file? Well, to answer that question, we have to understand the bytecode and loading. But we will discuss loading later, so do not worry. It will become clearer than bi'ithnillah and God willing. But to simply answer the question I asked, yes. Every class that is being used within the main method must have its own dot class file. Why? Because the bytecode contains the assembly instructions for the processor and those instructions are translated to machine code so that the computer can understand these instructions and create the necessary output. If the system class file, if this is not compiled into dot class, if this is not compiled to its own bytecode, then uh, the instructions related to system and related to um, where is out here and related to out and the instructions related to uh, if I can find the method oh sorry it is in the print stream method sorry and the instructions related to the print line method will not be uh, present, will not be present. Thus, the computer will not execute this line or in, in, in my case, this line, the one that I just compiled. So that means any participating class within the main method must be compiled to its own dot class file and that dot class file must also be translated to machine code and and then these class files are accumulated together so that the computer can execute this single line so that means the system class must be compiled the, and the print stream class must be compiled and also the driver class and uh, sorry in in my case in uh, in this case where is it here it is the main class not the driver class yeah in addition to that the object class must also be compiled because main is an implicit subclass or child class of the object class so these four classes must be compiled into their own dot class file however the main method contains the main constant pool which we have obtained here because all the uh, all executions occur at the main method or the init method but what about the uh, so does that mean the other dot class files so the class file or the bytecode of system class for print stream class and object class do they have their own constant pool the answer is yes this constant pool is formed during the execution of the program hence why it is called the runtime constant pool the constant pool for each of these classes after they have been compi compiled to their own bytecode of course contain a reference to the main constant pool or I should say that the main constant pool contains references or symbolic references to the runtime constant pool for each class or interface depending on the type. For example, 
this symbolic reference or this symbolic reference because they are the same the reason i highlighted this column is because it is easier to read rather than tracing the numerical references <laughs> but this symbolic reference refers to the runtime constant pool for this for the bytecode of this class once it is compiled then during the loading and linking phases or steps the compiler sees this reference locates the runtime constant pool of that class so the bytecode of that class and retrieves its instructions to execute them that is the runtime constant pool so let us define it here the runtime constant pool is a constant pool for every class or interface because remember you do not necessarily have classes exclusively you can have interfaces as well they are also compiled in the same manner to bytecode a constant pool for every class or interface used within the main method it is created during runtime or program execution hence the name runtime constant pool I should also note that the constant pool created for the main method which is what you have access to contains symbolic references to their uh, to uh, uh, symbolic references to the respective runtime constant pool. So the symbolic, uh, sorry, not this one. The symbolic reference for the print stream class will point or refer to the runtime constant pool of the print stream class the one for string will refer to the runtime constant pool of string the the system ref, uh, symbolic reference will refer to the runtime constant pool for the system class and so on and so forth now that the instructions from all the bytecodes present within the main method have been retrieved the cpu can combine these instructions together to execute this line and provide you with the required output that is the runtime constant pool and also the difference between the runtime constant pool and the constant pool constant pool by, by itself refers to the main one as in the one created from uh, from the main method which contains symbolic references that refer to the runtime constant pool or the bytecode or the dot class file of every single class used within the main method so we have the main class we have the object class because it is the super class of main we have the system class and we have the print stream class because of this method or rather because of this variable because this out is a of data type print stream and the print line method is in the print stream class so all of these classes have their own constant pools but you do not have access to them you have access to the one in the main method but simply because the constant pool for each of these classes is inaccessible does not mean that it is also the case for the computer no the computer is able to access it how through the symbolic references 
which we will discuss later in linking as I have mentioned. Or they will, uh, you will see their significance in linking later on, insha'Allah, bi'ithnillah and God willing. And that is it with regards to this lecture. I hope this video was helpful and beneficial to you all. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Be safe, take care, and peace be upon you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. Kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim. Wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. Kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim. Fil alameen innaka hamidun majid.